So Justin, you're a student at Florida Gulf Coast University. And tell me about that. It's, it's a small school on, located on the west coast, Fort Myers. I basically took it as an academics first and soccer came second. Okay. I was lucky enough to walk on. They had a crisis where everybody went injured and people left and they called me and said, we know of you, would you like to come in and basically sit on the bench in case something happens. So, yeah. Did you go in as a freshman? I went to school as a freshman. I didn't join the team until spring semester my sophomore year. What year are you in now? I'm going into my school. Congratulations. So what's your major? Uh, resort and hospitality. That's a great industry anywhere, yeah, not yeah. only in South Florida. Worldwide. You can do a lot with that. How long have you been playing soccer? Oh, it's like a long time. I can't tell you when. Probably competitively, fifth grade, but before I was playing long before. What got you involved in soccer? Or how do you say my it's just family. My brother was a goalkeeper, my dad was a goalkeeper coach. So just suited that I follow in their footsteps. How important has your family been in your soccer career? My mom pushed me even with times when I wanted to just throw in my gloves, stop playing. My brother was my first goalkeeper specific role model um, and my dad would just give me pointers specific to on the field and off the field. Did you ever think about another position even though that yeah. goalkeeper yeah. is in your family? I started out on the field but I realized I didn't cut it fitness wise. So I just decided goalkeeper and less running. So fitness wise, what's the difference between on the field and goalkeeping? On the field you have to have a lot more endurance, I think. Whereas in the goal it's, it's more short bursts. But you have to maybe cover twelve yards a few times, whereas on the field you know you're running box to box for ninety minutes. How often do you practice? Well when we were in season it was six days a week. It was every day. Even during the summer? What's your during summer, the summer schedule like? Yeah, same thing. Basically, if I'm not on the field, I'm in the gym. So on rainy days like today in sunny South Florida, you're out here practicing, so you're really dedicated. Right, or I'm in the gym. Same thing. Basically, if I'm not on the field, I'm in the gym. What's your future aspirations as a soccer goalkeeper? Hopefully to get called up into the Jamaica under 23s. If possible, playing at the next level whether that be in the lower leagues, upper leagues, whether that be here in the U.S., overseas, I would have to play, continue. What are you doing to make sure something like that happens? Networking. As many connections as I, as I can get. I spoke to one of the goalkeepers that plays for the Jamaica national team recently, and he said that's what he can. He said, you might have people your mom might not believe, your parents, your girlfriend, people might not think you can do it, but it's just, you have to continuously knock, knock on doors even when they're closed and network. Try to keep as many coaches in your corner as possible. Yes, I think that's true in almost everything. Right. Networking is very critical. So why Jamaica? That's where I'm from. My, both my parents were born there. Um, I went to school there for a year and I feel like a better chance of making the national team. And I also feel just I was raised in, with Jamaican heritage so I just Field. That would be more of it. Okay, Jamaican team, Justin's here and ready to play. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about NT2D and how that has impacted your career as a goalkeeper thus far. It got me to actually get the chance to play in college. I went and I thought I wasn't going to play, but I continued to come to work with Giuseppe freshman year when they said no to me coming to join the team. I still came and worked with Giuseppe and just Giuseppe's a former St. Thomas University coach so he knows what it takes to play at this level and he would hold me to those standards from even when I was in high school. My last year of high school he would hold me to those standards. So basically he said it, he said it for me and it was just once I was here the transition to the next level of college was a lot easier. And do you help any of the younger students yeah. out there learning this position? I actually, like, I actually like that because I remember when I was there and just looking up at somebody like Lyle and saying, can't wait to be in his shoes, can't wait to be playing at the college level or whatever. Yeah, I definitely remember what it was like to be, to be the younger one looking up. When you go back to your university, are you going to have to compete 
again for the goalkeeper position? They recruit all the time. As far as I know, two of them are coming in. Two freshmen are coming in. Does that make you afraid or are you just more competitive? So make sure both because you, you never know what's going through the coach's mind. But it does force you to be on your A game where you know if I make a mistake there's somebody behind me. Or it's the opposite way. If they make a mistake, they know I'm right there. Do you have any superstitions before games? Well, you know, I always jump up the usual to stop the crossbar. Um, I always, before the game starts, roll my socks up above my knees. And I tape both. I tape my two pinkies and my left thumb. For very young goalkeepers starting out, what's the one thing that you like to let them know in order to excel at the goalkeeper position? The basics. You can get the basics down and fitness, but at, that, at a young age, that's not the most important thing. But the basics, when you get to the college level, they want to see 10 out of 10 catches cleanly. They don't want to see 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, it's not good enough. Especially at the Division One level, it's, can you, when you need to make a save, can you make it? Are you coming for a cross? All the simple things that eventually you do over with your seven. If you can master that, you're in good. I mean, it's great to be able to make those flying saves, but they're looking to see how clean you are, how consist consistency would be the word. Consistency. Consistency. For all of your fans out there, Justin, how can we follow you on social media? You can follow me on Instagram at JustinXBesley. Well, thank you so much. It's been so nice meeting you. And all the best at Florida Gulf Coast University and all.